This is a special dog. This dog, when he was young, he was so incredibly strong. And this one I want to tell you about. And uh, both of these dogs ran six Yukon Quest for me. Hey, Kara. Two years ago, uh, Shiloh had cancer. And she had tumors here. And if you've had dogs, then maybe you've had a similar experience. So we had an operation with the veterinarian, obviously. And the operation wasn't very successful because the tumors came back. And it didn't look very good for her. And, um, but I decided we'd have another operation. And, but I took her to another veterinarian. And that was two years ago. The first operation was more than two years ago. But So for two years, I've been feeling here to see if any tumors. No tumors. And I thought, everything is so good. There's no tumors. And then about two weeks ago, she started having a high temperature. And I took her back to the vet. Hope it's okay to tell you guys this story. This is kind of personal. It's not anything to do with, you know, anything else than just, I'm glad that you're here. And um, I like telling stories, but I don't change the stories for anybody. I, so when we took her to the vet two weeks ago, <laughs> we found that cancer had gone to her lungs. And that was on a Thursday. It's going to be two weeks and, um, this Thursday. And the veterinarian said to me, I think you should put her down. And I said, I can't do That's too fast. I can't do that because of the tumors in her lungs. I said, give me something to help the temperature to go down and make her feel okay. So that vet gave me something. And then I came, came back and gave her that medicine. And then the next day she looked pretty good. She was running around, the temperature came back down to normal. And uh, sometimes when the dogs, if you've had an old dog and they're near the end of the life, they sometimes just wander away. And it's really hard on you because you really want to be with that dog. You're there when they're born. You want to be with them, you know, at the other side. And she disappeared. And so, Shiloh, and so I was searching for her all over the place and saying, calling her, Shiloh, Shiloh. And for several hours, nothing. And I thought, well, you have to respect if that's what she wants to do. It's not about you, it's about, it's about them. And then I saw her coming from there, from that direction, and I could see from far away, she had something in her mouth. You know what it was? A gopher. She went hunting. And so I phoned that vet, and I said, you know what? Shiloh was just out, and she caught a gopher. And that was last week, and she's still doing. She's still doing pretty well. And what we have here, we have a thing called hot dog days. That when we know that we have a dog, cancer is the biggest problem or old age. When it's coming near to the end, every day I give them. A, we got them in the fridge, and I have lots in the freezer. Every day is a hot dog day. And as long as they want the hot dog, then we're going to have another day. And the day they no longer want the hot dog, then I know that I know. So we don't let our dogs. Um, yeah, I'll take care of my dogs. So this was an amazing dog. Minus 45, minus 50 below, going up mountains bigger than this. She would be right up there, always looking one way, never looking back. 
always just looking straight ahead, honestly. Just absolutely wonderful. <laughs> so one more is missing. Really? 